Welcome to another Jira Guy video. Rands on Learning is priority one. I'm a Jira Administrator, a Jira Career Engineer, a Jira Social Architect, and a Certified Communities Application Developer. Welcome to my CCAD series of challenge questions, Helm Part 3. We're going to see a list of installations, upgrade the release from part two, install a new chart with two replicas, and then delete all of the installations. Good luck. All right, the first thing we want to check out is how to list our installations so very simple helm list you see we have two releases going so there's some more information regarding the list command you might find helpful so i'm going to list and help and you see we have a dash A or an all, which shows all releases. This would be good to see uh, installations or releases that are failing. And of course you can also do all namespaces. So obviously that's a C uh, across all namespaces that are running. And then of course you like to see show uninstall releases. And we'll take a look at that uh, after we delete some. But uh, not much else to say about the list commands. Let's move on to our next task. Okay, we are now going to upgrade a installation of Nginx, but for, before we can upgrade, we have to have an installation upgrade. So we're going to install, this. we're going to run this command right here to install version 9.5.16. Remember, this is just so we can learn how to upgrade an existing installation or release. All right, excellent. If I do a helm list, you'll see we have our new site right here. And this is the one we want to upgrade. And so we first thing we need to do is think about is, well, what versions are out there? Well, that's a good question to think of. But in one before that is, before I search my repo for what versions I have, I better update my repo. Don't you think? And I'm going to do that with the Helm repo update commands. Hang tight. All right. So now we have all the most recent versions. So now let's go ahead and search my repo for a newer version of Nginx, because right now I'm using 9.5.16. And I want to see if there's a newer one. And if so, go ahead and upgrade. All right, we're going to do a Helm search repo Nginx versions. All right. I'm going to go up to the top. And still scrolling. And looks like I got version 9.518. So that's the one I want to install next. 
All right, I'm going to clear my screen to a Helm list, and I'm going to do my upgrade command. So Helm upgrade Q20 part three. And great Navi and Nginx version 9.5.18. And there we go. We are now upgraded. So if I do a helm list. You can see we're now on 9.5.18. Okay, for our next task in part three is we're going to install a new release called Q20. It's going to run Apache, and our deployment should have two replicas. It's a little different there. All right. So first we have to do is we have to learn, well, how am I going to get two replicas? This will not even help you with this getting two replicas, but it'll help you with just about any question they're going to specify to customize the install. So Helm show values. And what we're going to install is Apache. So bit NAMI. Oops. B I T. NAMI Apache and you see these are all the values you can specify either in a YAML file which is probably the more preferred way in the real world or via on the helm install command line which is probably more useful in the certification world because it's quicker but you can say how am I going to find it well I got lucky and I found it right here so I could scroll for a while or since so I'm looking for some with replica and I'm not sure the exact commands I could do something like this grep repl and you can see I found it right here. So we're going to use the value replica count, make it a two to satisfy our task. So let's go ahead and clear the screen here. And do a helm install. We'll call it Q20. And bit NAMI slash Apache. I'm going to say set replica count equal to two. All right, that's looking pretty good. Let's do a helm list. And you see we got our Q20. Revision 1, and something I probably should have pointed out from the last section of this video, we're now on Revision 2 of Q20, which is excellent. But it doesn't really show you anything about am I running two replica accounts or not. And this is an exam question. You're probably pretty sure you got it, right? But sure, it would be nice to know for sure. Uh, so let's do a kubectl get deploy of Q20. QCTL uh, get deployments. Uh, Q20 Apache. And you can see we do have two replicas. Two available, up to date, two of two. So I think we get full credit for that question. 
Okay, this brings us to our last task of part three of Helm. And we're going to learn how to delete our installations. So I'm going to do a Helm list. I'm going to say Helm uninstall Dave site. Uninstall. Now I'll just say Q20. And then Q20 part three. Let's look at some, if there's any options for uninstall. And you can see there's one that says keep history. Now, from my readings, uh, I, the way I understand it is Helm version 2 had keep history on by default, but this is Helm version 3, and Helm version 3 has keep history off by default. So if you want to keep the history, you want to need to do a keep history here. Well, this ends part 3, and I believe if you watched all three parts, you are well prepared for what they might give you on the CCAT exam. So good luck and thanks for watching.